The former president has been ordered to pay more than $350 million. Okay, so that is what is crucial there, because these fees are starting to pile up. This will become a problem for him going forward, having to pay off these hundreds of millions of dollars. New York Attorney General Letitia James had accused the former president and his organization of overstating his net worth in order to win favorable terms on loans. Or business. Well, the business just got rocked by this record-setting level of fraud damages. Look, the, the judge just removed their ability to run, the Trumps, to run their own business. They've been running this for decades. This ruling stopped short of, like, making him walk the plank. In a statement that they never missed a loan payment, they run a clean business, and that they believe this was all politically motivated. Wow. The Everyone. judge was looking to determine how much in ill-gotten gains, that's what this word of disgorgement means, the money that they benefited from. So now the judge issuing the significant ruling. Today, justice has been served. Today, we prove that no one is above the law, no matter how rich, powerful, or politically connected you are, everyone must play by the same rules. But there are no victims here. There are no, no, no one who, who was punished or hurt by this. Uh, that seems odd to me. And I always tell people, regardless of what they think of Donald Trump, is this a bridge too far? I mean, the, the appellate division, which is the court above this, this bozo, who I could go into, but I won't, uh, they said that anything before 2014 is barred by the statute of limitations. This inept, incompetent, progressive leftist judge that I wasn't going to talk about, <laughs> he then took all of the properties before 2014 and included them in his assessment of things that he felt were overvalued. Part of this ruling, a very comprehensive ruling and by Angoran. We're also seeing former President Donald Trump being barred from being a director or leader of any corporation in the state of New York for the next three years. That's a, a directive for not only Trump, but other co-defendants in this case, including the former chief financial executive at the Trump Organization, Alan Weisselberg. And Donald Trump's own sons, Eric Trump and Donald Trump Jr., are barred from being in an executive or leadership main position at a New York company for the next two years. This is an outrage. What you're seeing is an attorney general who in any other time or in any other day would have been removed from office based upon her promise to go after a person against whom there was no crime alleged. She just looked at him until she found something that she thought was appropriate. I have never seen a law that was written to protect consumers used against a man in an organization where not a one consumer was harmed, not one bank was harmed. They never missed a loan payment. They never were in default on any loan. Deutsche Bank and every other bank that did business with the Trump organization made hundreds of millions of dollars. And let me be clear. Donald Trump and his organization made it very clear on their loan applications that they were disclaiming their evaluation and saying that the banks and the insurance companies and everybody else should do their own evaluation. And that's what the business world, that's how it works. They knew it. They understand it. They have forensic accountants. They have real estate evaluators. evaluators. They have all kinds of people who assess whether or not the property is worth their investing in. So so that they don't lose money. And they never did lose money. And the Trump Organization never went out of business. They didn't scam anyone. No one is alleging that they were defrauded or wronged. This is, I'm tired of the word lawfare. This is an attempt by people to take down a former president who was beating the present president in terms of the uh, uh, polls and looks like he's going to beat him in the next election. This is what third world countries do. It's outrageous. And I've got... And it's election interfering. So I just want to thank you for being here. Uh, we'll appeal. We'll be successful, I think, because frankly, if we're not successful, New York State is gone. People are moving out of New York State. And because of this, they're going to move out at a much faster rate. They use the statute. It's a consumer fraud statute that's never been used for a thing like this before. They used it on me because I'm running for president. I'm beating Biden by a lot. We're beating not only the Republicans, we're beating Biden by a lot. The poll came out today, we're up 20 points on Biden. If I weren't running, none of this stuff would have ever happened. None of these lawsuits would have ever happened. Nothing would, I would have had a nice life, but I enjoy this life for a different reason. We're gonna make America great again. These are corrupt people. These are people that shouldn't be allowed to do the things they do. And they're using this as weaponization against 
a political opponent who's up a lot in the polls and always will be because I'm competing with a man who can't put two sentences together, who doesn't know what he's doing. And we're heading into a third world war because of this guy. We have to win this election. They're doing everything possible to step in a way, but we're not going to stand for it. So thank you very much. We will get back to work. Uh, it's a ridiculous award. This is a fine of $355 million for doing a perfect job, for having paid back a loan with no defaults, with no problems. The banks were totally, t you know, at the trial, they testified. We had an expert witness from the Stern School at NYU that made the statement. He, and I was very honored by his statement. He's one of the most respected people anywhere in the country for doing this kind of thing, expert wisdom. He said, this is one of the greatest financial statements I have ever witnessed before. And he talked about even the detail. So my numbers actually were extremely conservative. They saw this. So what the judge did is he brought down certain values like Mar-a-Lago, made it ridiculous. But the expert, after having all of this, testifies one of the best financial statements he's ever seen. And I was honored by that. But I also knew we have a corrupt judge. He's not a respected man. And again, I said before, he's been overturned on this case by the appellate division four times already. It's a record. Nobody's ever been overturned on one case four times. And I think very importantly, and I think ultimately the most important, we've employed tens of thousands of people in New York and we pay taxes like few other people have ever paid in New York. And they don't care about that. They, it's, a, it's a state that's going bust. It's a state that's going bust because everybody's leaving. And it's all headed up by Biden, who's destroying our country. So this is Russia. This is China. This is what you've been reading about all your lives. And it's happening right here in our country. Thank you very much. We will stop it. We will make America great again. You have my word. Thank you very much.